Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Issue Crew. It's the show where we all have issues both with our lives and with each other. I am your host, Riley, and folks, vote up co-hosts who don't show up because none of them fucking showed up. It's just me, myself, and of course, special guest, Warficus has returned to the program. No, I'm sorry. It's just you. Oh, shit. (laughs) Damn it. (laughs) Hello, my name is Warficus. You can find me at True Warficus on X. I now stream on Saturday. Uh, Weird games that you've never heard of. Mm, such such as what kind of weird games we've never heard of uh i just played a game called cuba chaos it's a it's like a weird roguelike where like uh anything goes it's fun you can make rocks attack people hell yeah Oh, yeah, shit. folks, we got a little tight-knit program tonight, although Captain Blackbread, I believe, will join, be joining us in a moment. And a Gingy third? may It's a third, correct. And Gingy may join us later in the program, but I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> Good. I, I, I don't think I can carry this show. I'm sorry. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Bit of a... Very few can. <laughs> Bit of a train wreck. Have we done a one-person episode of this yet? I don't think so. I think you've we been very a... lucky. We did a, we did that for a largest issue once. Andrew did one by himself. Uh. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I think I, I think it was just like we were gonna miss a week, and he was like, "What if I just do it myself?" And I was like, "I mean, I guess why not?" <laughs> so, so he did it, um, and it wasn't terrible. Like I think he did pretty good at like not leaving too much dead air, like trying to be like entertain as, as best as you can do. As a, I believe, like, 14-year-old boy hosting a podcast alone. Uh, But... uh, (laughs) I mean, it's really hard to carry, like, anything without, like... That's why streamers usually have, like, a video game. Because unless you have tits, you know, it's very hard to keep people interested. For me, like, I I, I try not to do anything solo. Like, at the same time, like, I'll do it. Like, just to try to get the practice in. Because I can't even do it with a video game really well. Like, I just end up, like, going silent for too long. So, like, I had, like, experiments, like, Hellscape and stuff. And, like, I do uh, live streams. Uh, But overall, it's just, like, I work a lot better when I have people to bounce off of. I'm really bad at keeping the train going all by myself. I'm the exact opposite. When I stream a game alone, I will just not stop talking about bullshit related to the game. I feel like it, I feel like it gets annoying after a while. I might. Who knows? I'll have Who to knows? attend a Warficus stream and see how long it takes for me to get annoyed. Uh, I think next stream I'll be playing a game called Enemy. I'll post one of those videos that it's that's like uh, watching a Warficus stream until I get too annoyed and turn it off, and it's no, like perfect. thirty-two seconds long. <laughs> <laughs> They'll have like a speed run timer at the corner. <laughs> Oh boy, uh, but folks, we of course. Uh, oh, what I was gonna say about Andrew is the one, the weird, th- the weird decision he made artistically when he made that episode is he mm. brought in four issues, but instead of just bringing in four issues, he decided to bring in two of his own issues and two issues that he felt as if I would bring in. <laughs> <laughs> and then did he? Did he like? Like, do voices to argue about it? No, no, no. He, he, he was covering them all himself, but like, okay. he just wanted to evoke the spirit of me for two issues, I suppose. Okay. okay, this might spoil an April Fool's joke, but next April Fool's, just do an issue crew episode, but it's just you arguing with yourself, pretending to be, be the whole cast. Fucking funny. That would be really good. And Captain Blackbread, everybody, has joined the program. Yo! Howdy. Greeting. We, this is a, this is what we, this is what you call a double callback. We have two uh, auditionees back again. Cat cats and blackbread for the third time. Warficus for the second. Yes. Is this like a direct competition? Then where is yeah, everybody? Do else? I have to kill this man? Yeah, yeah no. Your your third. Uh, the you're both competing against Mister No Name Gamer, who I think 
talked like three or four times in his appearance and has not made a reappearance. That so. was oh, like, looking pretty real. good. I don't want to. I don't want to talk shit about like other people I'm competing against. But that wasn't he. I didn't even notice he was there. I'm gonna be real. Listen, I'm Mr. No Name Gamer, nice guy, cool guy, great guy, greatest guy. <laughs> but you know, I don't know. In terms of podcast auditions, I've heard better. Uh, I've heard worse. I mean, <laughs> I've heard some pretty bad stuff in my day. Probably, probably every podcast I've ever done with Crow Royalty could be counted as an audition gone poorly. I just keep doing it for some reason. <laughs> I was thinking about jumping in and just being like, "Hey, kids." Uh, Fuck, I don't even remember how I was planning on doing it. That's probably why I didn't do it. I was going to be like, hey, kids, I'm I'm coming in again. Uh, ask your mom. Many will enter. Many come out. And it was, I, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking, but I did just get a nap like fucking 20 minutes ago. <laughs> many will enter. Many will come out. Yeah, what is no, this, a few will enter. Many will bit? come out. But I, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't enter. Many will like enter, that. few will win. This sounds like something like a homeless man in LA would tell me. Many will <laughs> enter, many will come out. Many he was just talking enter. about the war, though. Many will come Just like a very haggard old man. Just yeah, like, 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 many like, will enter. <laughs> many 100 will men out. went in, 10 men came out. <laughs> I had a show once, it wasn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> Riley 2085. <laughs> oh god. Folks, last yeah. week on the show, we talked about some issues and those issues were, of course, uh when the cool evil guy dies, uh podcasting while hungry, people who refuse to watch popular shows, non-responsive Discord servers, and prudishness. And the winner with Two votes, the t- only two votes on the evening. Podcasting while hungry, Mo Diggity takes the W for this this particular episode of the Issue Crew, this past one. Not this current one, because he and the other co-hosts all didn't show up, so he didn't win that one. But this one, this past one, he, t- he definitely won. So congratulations to Mo Diggity, wherever you are right now, sleeping like a bitch. Mm, like a it. bitch. You you you're a winner, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Wake him up, so folks. But we got issues today, and let me tell you what mine is. It's a okay. I don't want to do say rock. Issue? Yeah, I do have an issue. I don't want to. I'm just deciding how to phrase it differently. I I was going back and oh, forth you- how to phrase it. Um, I don't want to say raw the word wrong. Just say the slur, all right? Just go yeah, for no it. No slurs. No slurs. <laughs> <laughs> I, had to mark the, I had to mark those down and bleep them out. It's a whole thing. It's a <laughs> please refrain. I don't like doing work when I edit. Uh, <laughs> what work? Ugh. Yeah, work is gross. So um, unless we say something awful, I usually just cut the silence, noise cancel, and ship it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh but folks my issue I was going to I was going to phrase it with the word wrong but I've decided against it cuz you know it's about opinions and I'm of the belief that no opinions are necessarily wrong but some opinions are bad so I'm going to say my issue is bad dragon ball opinions bad dragon <laughs> wow. I mean, they're a pretty big issue from what I've heard. They've got like anatomically accurate fucking dog cocks that they're selling or whatever. So I, mean, I don't know. I mean, that's the boring selection, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dog cocks are for the normies. Now, the dragon cocks. No, that's let me for tell white, you. white women. Those are for white women. Mm. Mm. Of course, of course. But bad <laughs> dragon. Ball opinions, folks. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Wow. How exciting. Oh. Wait, did you just look up Bad Dragon? No, no, that's not it. It was it's the fact that okay, I was going to say yeah. what it was. I saw on the screen, it just said 
bad dragon ball opinions and I'm just like there it is bad dragon Wait, bad dragon ball this opinion. is what we call search engine optimization yeah exactly people are going to be looking for bad dragon the dildos <laughs> and then they're going to find this podcast so that's really that's really what we're going for so i'd like to t- today to talk about the knock it's uh it's quite firm <laughs> so dragon ball the thing about dragon ball <laughs> God damn furries. <laughs> oh, Lord. Dragon Ball is this, of course, beautiful tale weaved by the late and great Akira Toriyama. Um, God, about, he's dead. Uh, he is dead. It's really unfortunate. Uh, but uh, about, a, about a young man named Goku who appeared under mysterious circumstances as an infant with a mysterious monkey tail and through many years of mystical adventures came to learn the origin of said monkey tail and of him, um, and learn to be, you know, a, an Earth man and protect the Earth and stuff. It's really cool. It's a good one. It's a good manga and anime that you should check out. But the thing about it is anytime there's media, people have opinions about that media. Um, and a lot of those people who express opinions about the, that media also happen to be retarded, which results in <laughs> poor, poorly executed opinions, in my opinion. Now, uh, uh, opinions, everything's opinions, right? I'm just giving my opinions on their opinions. Maybe to most people, my Dragon Ball opinions are bad. Are you uh, saying that uh, 80% of Dragon Ball is watchable? <laughs> I mean, if you're just <laughs> counting original stuff, then I'd say 100%. Uh, but I don't know. A lot of those movies are fucking garbage. Hey, but the movies aren't real. That's the mm. thing. The but I'm saying are. I'm saying if you're just counting like the primary original story as it stood until that fateful day in 2011 or whenever the fuck Battle of Gods came out. I don't know. That fight with the ninja in the battle tower kind of fucking sucked. Ah shit! You know. <laughs> I just want to throw it out. You make a compelling I, point. Also, Goku, uh, Super Saiyan Two, Goku versus Majin Vegeta, not a well aged fight. No, uh, the 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 spirit behind the fight, the plot behind the fight, very the good. Spirit bomb, Hold very well. No spirit bomb in that one. Uh, <laughs> the the narrative of that fight is great, but the choreography is fucking bad. <laughs> I caught those episodes on Adult Swim a long time ago, and I was and my like. My opinion of Dragon Ball Z, a bad dragon opinion, if you will, was that, like, I swear to God in those episodes, they threw, like, three punches, and and, and it was between, like, three episodes, and the rest was, like, <laughs> monologuing. Yeah. Dragon the thing Ball. about... Yeah. Are you referring to Goku okay, versus you know Mata what? Vegeta I got a really or... unpopular opinion. Uh, the, the shut up, Mark, I, I have to suck. figure out what Captain Blackbread has seen. I have to figure out which Vegeta fight he's referring to because oh. he kind of jumped at it. But I want to make sure. Are you talking about Majin Vegeta? His hair is yellow and he has an M on him or regular Vegeta? I don't remember because I was trying to catch a comic got killed as it was Damn coming it. out. <laughs> well, it was one of them, folks. It Actually, was one of them. But go ahead, is really There really is no good Vegeta versus Goku fight after the first one. But uh, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm well, gonna there's only real. really the two. Tao Pai Pai has no good fights. He is a ten out of ten villain. His fights suck. I feel like the like final fight between him and Goku was he, good. Uh, he dies to a grenade. Goku doesn't even kill the man. He just throws a bomb. Sure, but they're like, like whatever. That's just like resourcefulness. And Goku, how does he power up? Oh, Climbs up a tower up and down a bunch in like two days and somehow builds muscle mass off this. You would, I mean, that's a pretty good workout, I'd, I'd assume. <laughs> it's the worst. It's the Tao Pai Pai as a character is so fucking compelling, and then you get this fucking garbage ass fight. Why'd Goku do it? Oh, it's because some fucking Native American boy's dad is fucking dead. I also like that he just doesn't die, and from this point on, he just, like, is, like, has, like, Goku PTSD. <laughs> I mean, where did he get the cyborg stuff? Like, I don't know. It couldn't okay, be Jiro. King, King Cold came in, patched him up. Maybe. <laughs> but, uh, 
Yeah, the, the, the towel. I guess I don't know if this is ever shown outside of filler, um, but I like the filler decision they make where Tao Pai Pai is just still around and is just like uh, unreasonably terrified of Goku um, to the point where there's a filler episode where he runs into Gohan and he just like looks into his eyes and gets a feeling. And despite the fact that he's obviously a teenage boy and Goku would be an adult at this point, he's like, wait, you're not that guy, are you? Because like, oh, uh oh. <laughs> Oh, and then God. go and then Gohan's like uh, close enough. I'm his son, and he's just like, oh shit. <laughs> so this is a good dragon opinion. This is a good dragon opinion. <laughs> yes, hundred okay. percent solid dragon opinion. I can't find a bad dragon opinion for this guy. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Maybe I should have said wrong Dragon Ball opinion just to avoid that. No, no, we're, we're in too deep. No, this is no, great. Wrong dragon is a whole different thing. Oh, you want a wrong, wrong dragon. dragon? Oh, no. <laughs> but, uh. Yeah, it's. it's at just, Riley on Twitter with your wrong dragons. Whenever you have a franchise this big, there's always going to be these weird types of fans that, like, glom onto certain aspects and just, like, get certain things in their mind that just, like. Are, are so fundamentally flawed and like seemingly farcical um, that it's like, what are you doing, man? Okay, uh, here's here's a really bad dragon opinion. Yeah, uh, you mean bad dragon opinion? <laughs> uh, I actually think uh, everything to do with the fighting in Dragon Ball is retarded, and the reason I care about Dragon Ball at all is because it is the world's best dysfunctional family uh, show. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like so you, only you, thing, the only thing I ever give a shit about is like how how is Vegeta gonna like have an aneurysm today? Yeah, you're describing it in this sort of like silly way, but like to be honest, like the fights I love, are cool. I love when fucking Piccolo gets emasculated by Gohan, who's now cucking him because he doesn't have a dick. Literally, I'm the weirdest Shonen <laughs> fan in that, like with Dragon Ball and so many other shows that you wouldn't expect it. It's like. I'm really there for like the characters and how they develop. I, I have this weird, I have this weird like innate thing where I just have like a deep appreciation for character arcs, even when they're the most like, the, even when they're s the most like tucked in, not the point of the show because it's a fighty show. Well, here's the thing: a character I, arcs. It's like I, I disagree. I think the power level stuff, at least from uh, Kira Toriyama's perspective, is like meaningless. I don't think he gives a fuck about any of that. I think. He is so good at writing dysfunctional characters that still fucking get along somehow. And it everything about Dragon Ball revolves around these fucking. Well, the thing about the dysfunctional, the the dysfunctional, the, the dysfunctional thing is kind of part of uh, Dragon Ball's modern problem. In that, uh, that's always been the case. Obviously, it's it's a story of a dysfunctional group. Well, it's it's um, a but bunch we were getting of to a point. We were getting to a point. In the original story that they were telling, where the group was becoming less dysfunctional, and then they threw all of that development away for Super. Just directly yeah, they got rid the of Launch. Can. Yeah, they got rid of Launch. See, obviously, they got rid of her long before Super, though. Oh, I, I miss <laughs> Launch. You know, they should rip, bring her back in Super, right? And she's like now the strongest character in the universe because overcoming her like t split personality made her a god or something. Nah, she's just like. G Goku, G Goku, like finds her, and no, she's no, like no. she's gained two hundred pounds, and like lives in a house with like three hundred cats and like framed pictures of Tien. <laughs> no, 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 no. She, she like she like sees Goku like eating at a restaurant, right? And like it's Blue Launch, right? And she's like, "Is that Goku?" And she like goes up to him, and then she sneezes, and then just caps Goku in the back of the head, and that's how he dies. Yeah, that kills him. <laughs> yeah, she just kills him. Goku is immune to bullets, though. Unfortunately, no, he's not. remember Krillin threw a rock at him that one time. Yeah, the but way, remember, he remember only he, works if you're the focusing. Day, the day one of Dragon Ball, Goku at his weakest that we've no, ever no, 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 seen no, no, no. him. Goku Bulma black. shoots him, and he's just like, okay. "Ow!" Okay, I know you haven't watched uh, the whole fucking uh, uh, Zabasu arc, but. Goku Black could have been killed with a sniper rifle in that arc. Um, it is heavily implied that key users, when they're not focusing on defense, can just be killed by bullets. But was Goku really focusing on defense in episode one where Bulma shot him with a machine gun and he was just like, ow? Yes. 
<laughs> he wasn't even defending though. He just got hit by it, and then he like itched his head and was like, "Shit, man!" That oh hurt. yeah, he saw her shoot him. You like part of this requires a complete unawareness of the bullet. Okay, okay, perhaps. Uh, but <laughs> so I can't keep up. I just can't Sorry. keep up. Sorry, he picked a problem that is completely alien to you. Yeah, I, t- I picked this issue before Blackbread jumped in chat, so it's like... <laughs> yeah, we yeah. had like a fucking three-hour pre-stream uh, Dragon Ball cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah three, three hours. <laughs> this was with like 20 one, minutes. With one joke that I chimed in with, and then that was it. And I'm just like, where do, how do, where do I insert the bad dragon? No, well, that's, you know... It, uh, really, I've been trying to give Riley a bad dragon this whole time, but uh, it seems like <laughs> everything I give him is a good dragon. Yeah, give me some more bad dragons. Let's hear it. <laughs> you gotta give him the Spyro one. Can you just start saying this on fucking Dragon Wheel? Fucking every time someone a, has a bad opinion, just say, man, dragon, that's a real yeah. bad dragon. A really bad dragon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you found the bit to save the show. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> the I... bad dragon. <laughs> How we'll save the issue, crew. Okay, the Trunks uh, is really retarded. Uh, like actually retarded. He could have solved the entire problem just by asking uh, Old Bulma uh, where where Jero's lab was. <laughs> We're just asking Old Bulma to like instead like, of inventing the moment. Time... The moment Vegeta was like, no. I want to fight them. Uh, Trunks should have just gotten back in the time machine, asked his mom in the future where the lab was, and then just went back to before he told anyone about anything and blew up the lab. The thing about the androids is uh, that they can't sense energy. So why is it? Instead of building... I feel like easier than inventing time travel would be to just build a spaceship... That could take trunk to Namek. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, you know, old Bulma never really did mention like the Dragon Balls or anything about them. those trunks. Dragon Balls were gone, obviously. But why didn't she send she, him to Namek instead well, of back in time? Well, I think the explanation. I think there's an actually more explanation. The explanation is that new Namek was in a different location in the universe, and because they didn't have the Dragon Balls, they never found it. Oh, they don't know where Nunamic is. Okay. But then Superlore is like, oh yeah, there's tons of Dragon Balls in the universe. There's tons of Namekians. And Trunks could have found it eventually. Yeah, well, because Trunks can sense energy, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you think you can figure it out? Yeah, I haven't got any bad dragons. Uh, everything I know about Dragon Ball is based in Red Pill. But here's the, to say real quick, this is what ruined Dragon Ball Super, and this is what I've argued with Mo Diggity a million times about. Um, but just in terms of the character um, and the dysfunction, which is what brought it back to my mind, is like Dragon Ball, the original, and Dragon Ball Z was was spending the time... The The story became, once Vegeta became one of our main band it was about like vegeta's path to becoming an earthling and then in super they decided to do the fucking three or not 360 would be back to the same do the 180 (laughs) and instead of making it a story about vegeta acclimating to the earth which he does do in the end of z and in gt i think gt handles vegeta's character brilliantly except for the part where he loses every single fight he's in i don't like that part but in terms of how his character is handled i think gt is excellent to vegeta um but dragon ball is telling the story of vegeta becoming an earthling to a certain degree and then super came along and it said they're like what if we tell the story of goku becoming more of a saiyan and it's like i'm sorry what are you talking this is a bad drag i'm sorry riley but you've given us a bad dragon that's literally what it is that's like no 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 no. the super timeline is goku discovers what god key is goku is not becoming more super saiyan that's gt gt super is super saiyan 4 Super, I'm not saying more super, super is saying, super I'm is is Vegeta is has to help Goku attain godlike power while he sits there on the sidelines 
It watches him almost destroy the universe in a bout against the god of destruction. And you think Vegeta would let that stand? I think that... <laughs> you think Goku's becoming more Super Saiyan? He's literally becoming a god. I'm not saying he's becoming more Super Saiyan, you fucking retard. What are you talking about? I'm saying that he's becoming more in touch with his Saiyan heritage. And that is something they have explored multiple times not throughout really. Dragon Ball Super. Not really. I mean, the manga arcs, like... Goku learns that his entire life... Okay, this is massive spoilers. Uh, anyone who doesn't want to fucking know this, uh, it's canon now. I don't want to know uh, this. Okay, <laughs> well, uh, you get to. So Damn Go it. Goku's entire life, uh, it only happens because his dad, uh, Bardock, made a wish on a Dragon Ball that Goku would have a good life. So every time he doesn't die in the original series is because of that wish. What the fuck? Yep. But he does die. What yeah, but he comes road? back, he grows up, about? and has a good life. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm sorry. I missed half of what you said, actually. What is this wish? Who made it and how? Bardock, Goku's dad, finds a Dragon Ball, a single Dragon Ball, and makes a wish on it that his son would grow up strong and healthy. You can't make a wish on one Dragon Ball. Yes, you can, because uh, Super Lore has also changed it. So the uh, the uh, Namekians are basically interdimensional invaders that just like appear on planets and make magic wish orbs that can destroy the universe. What the fuck? I hate Dragon Ball Super more than I do already now. <laughs> I hated I Dragon Ball Super great. because it treated Goku and Vegeta badly as characters. But here's the thing, now it I never treats them great as characters. It cracked the lore in half. It cracks the lore in half, but the characters get they a lot They don't treat better. them great as characters at all, because they completely regress all of Vegeta's character development. And as for Goku, he just becomes, uh, the I'm stupid, which is what he was... Because <laughs> in Dragon Ball Z, he grows up. He learns... Mm -hmm. He matures, he becomes, the student becomes the master. He teaches Gohan, he teaches Goten and Trunks, and he's like a wise <laughs> martial arts master. And then Super comes and he's just like, Herder, I hate farming radishes. Hey, it's a god. I'm going to punch him. What are you talking about? Goku has been like blackballed by his wife and literally no one else in the existence being able to fight him. So he's been farming radishes for 20 years because his wife just burns money like crack. Oh, you're saying he's gone mad. Yeah, he, the... like, the, the explanation for a super is he has just spent so fucking long in mundanity that he's just decided, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to punch God. I'm bored. It what? makes sense for him to punch God, but, like, it's like his complete misunderstanding of stakes, because he's always been willing to punch God. But he understands the stakes that come with punching God. Like in in Dragon Ball Z, if he was it, it, at the end of Z, if Beerus showed up, he certainly would have done the exact same thing that he initially did, where he's like, "Hey, Lord Beerus, sir, friend, it is a pleasure for you to meet me. Uh, would you like to have a sparring match?" Um, but well. The thing about Battle of Gods is they actually do it right. Like, he does that. He's fine. Goku's a fine character in Battle of Gods, specifically. All I'm saying so is give the rest of Super a chance. Read the manga. I think they do a lot better job with the characters later. The Granola arc, while it does have that Dragon Ball thing that kind of really does fuck up the whole story, uh, the rest of it, like, the characterization's perfect. Like, Vegeta is what Vegeta should be. Goku's... What should Vegeta be, though? Because I feel like a lot of people have a different idea about that than well, I do. Well, that's the thing. Uh, Vegeta should... Vegeta's arc, in my mind, has always been him, like, coming to terms with his own power. Like, him being okay being Vegeta and not looking at other people with envy. Being okay being Vegeta, being okay with being weaker than Goku, and also being... Right. One with the Earth. That right. was the thing that I think Super is missing. I Whereas think I think he finds that in a not the one with the Earth thing. I think I think the Battle of the Gods stuff would have. I think it's very rational that upon seeing that he could become a, a god, Vegeta would immediately drop the fucking domestication shit. 
<laughs> it just it, it doesn't feel right though because the thing about uh, why i why i always suck gt's dick about vegeta's character is just like they really perfectly nail home like what dragon ball z started to set as the okay. foundation where vegeta you can go in circles for days but i promise you read the manga it's good Okay, I'm gonna read the manga. That's that's not gonna change, and I'm also gonna wrap up this issue soon. Black, this has been a bad sorry. dragon. Uh, <laughs> I think it's been a great <laughs> dragon. Okay, just because just because fucking black. Oh, you, you there, like good dragons, don't you? Yeah, I love great here. dragons. I was thinking about. Um, in fact, I was looking for it. I was gonna play the uh, clock exercise music in the background, but I forgot the show it was from, and all I remembered was that the girl was <laughs> a clown, and so I searched. Clock exercises, clown, and uh, that didn't work either. Ah, shit. <laughs> Damn. Uh, but real quick, so bad dragons. Worf has given me the first bad dragon, so I gotta latch onto it and hit it. Uh, so, so yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I went for as many as possible there, could you tell? Um, uh, the thing about Vegeta and GT is they really nailed down the foundation they were setting in Z, where it's like, if you'll recall, there is a there is a scene when Goku is trying to convince Vegeta to put the Batara earring on. Um, there's something that he says that is really powerful, and that is something that I felt like should have resonated with Vegeta going forward and did for the rest of the Boo arc and like some of the stuff afterward, but then resurrection f and onward they kind of just throw it in the trash entirely uh but like goku says to him like listen the saiyans are fucking dead we're starting a new race here on earth do you really want that to get fucked up right now and that is what gets vegeta to put the earring on so the idea is (laughs) sorry here's the other thing you got to realize that story is still canon um even in core dragon ball canon uh, the Dragon Ball Super is a timeline split. Uh, Beerus waking up changes the timeline. Um, in the That's original, it. in the original story, uh, the e- the ending of Vegeta and Goku is uh, they get old and they decide fuck it and then go off into some random place in the universe and fight until they both die, presumably. I mean, I think that could still happen in Super. You know, they I, they do. They do look I don't know. I think, uh, I think they, Vegeta is looking at immortality right now. Do you think he's going to accept it, though? Because, like, because the thing is, even in Tournament of Power, let me say, in the Tournament of Power, they did Vegeta really good in this specific line. And, yes, the only reason I know about this is because I played Budokai Tenkaichi 4, a video (laughs) game mod. um, And I played the Tournament of Power. Oh, so that's how you experienced Uh, it, through the mod. (laughs) So, Vegeta fights Topo after Topo has achieved, has become the god of destruction. Um, and he says to Topo, like, like, like Topo, Topo, I think is like taunting him or something or whatever. It's a, at some point it's like Vegeta is, is face. It, I, I don't know what the context is, but Vegeta speaking on the, I, I'm too high for this shit. <laughs> so, Vegeta speaking on the idea of him going through the same thing was like, do you, oh, cause Topo was like abandoning his values of like justice or whatever. Um, and Vegeta's like, you would abandon your fucking values just for this shit. I'm not, I- I'm here fighting for like my world and my family. And I would never give all of that shit up just to play God. Well, here's the thing. The God of destruction in super isn't necessarily a bad guy or even really a God. It's more like a position. of You have the power to destroy worlds. If you, if, if it's needed, it's, I don't know. Like, Read the manga. We'll talk. We could talk about this more. I feel like our our other friend here is dying. Okay. Well, at least let me finish my point. God damn it! I'm in the <laughs> no, middle of something. No, fuck you. Fuck your point. It's awful. It's <laughs> my a bad point dragon. Is, my point is a great dragon. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> but I just I, I just want to say that it's like so. Vegeta and GT obviously is the the logical progression post end of Z end of Z where Vegeta is fully dressed up in human clothes now he's abandoned the fucking Saiyan armor which the, the, they threw that away real quick um he's he's abandoned the Saiyan armor he's just dressed like a regular guy um he's living on earth he has a, he's had this family forever and he's content um and GT goes into that deeper 
And we find out not only has Vegeta fully acclimated to the planet Earth, he is at the point where he is so invested in the planet Earth that he has become frustrated at Goku's uh, lackadaisality um, and just, like, tendency to not be around when shit goes down and fuck things up. So Vegeta has declared himself the sole protector of the planet Earth. He is so invested in the planet that he's like, Kakarot, fucking idiot. If somebody wants to fuck with the Earth, they're going to have to go through me. And I have to be ready for that shit. The unfortunate thing that GT does wrong is just the threat shows up as, that shows up wildly outclasses him and he gets ragdolled. Um, right. before, before he gets ragdolled, he rises up and he's like, hey, I've... Uh, I see, I'm a fucking, I'm the Prince of Saiyans, but I see Earth as my home, and I'm not gonna let you people hurt my fucking home. Well, once again, do you think post-Boo Vegeta, like, a few years on, where Super starts, would see what the fuck happened with Goku there and Beerus, and not become the character in, he is in Super? I think he could pursue that power and also still see the Earth as his home, and act Good. accordingly. He still sees it as his home. He just has a higher calling and more power to gain because, god damn it, Goku gets to be god, so I do too. And it super also presents the concept uh, to the characters that, uh, yeah, the threats that they were dealing with are very, uh, you know, local. <laughs> and there's always a bigger problem. You know, GT, it's like lifetime like an entire lifetime after the original run, you know, for these characters. Uh, Super, it, it happens pretty close to after Boo. Yeah, but there's all of the, all of the things that are expanded upon in GT character wise are set forth. Like right. from the, from the Boo saga through the end of Z. Right. And I'm, what I'm saying is it's a break in uh, Vegeta's like natural progression. If he was left alone, he would become the GT Vegeta, but he wasn't. Uh, Earth was attacked again, and it was by something so far beyond anything he could deal with that, you know, it broke him inside. Yeah, that's, uh, you see, that's the fucked up part about Super, is it's just about our main heroes getting mentally broken by bullshit, and then well, throwing away all their character development well, to become gods. Well, there's a guy <laughs> who can stop time, but Goku can get super strong and s stop time. Goku can get moving. so strong that he can just ignore time being frozen. <laughs> Goku <laughs> is stronger than time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was a bad that, dragon. That's it. Bad dragon opinions. Vegeta should be more of an Earthling. Look, like, okay, real quick, the the just the example. This is one second. I'll comment. The, <laughs> the example I forgot to mention when you we were talking about Goku becoming more of a Saiyan is the end of the Broly movie, um, oh, yeah. where he de where he decides to like connect to Broly Saiyan to Saiyan and be like, you know what, you Broly. You can call me Kakarot. Like, that's not... Goku well, is not Kakarot. He has never been Kakarot. Well, he look, hates being Kakarot. Well, look, here, here's... There's two things about this. One, uh, that was immediately after fusing with Vegeta. And, oh, uh, so it's like a little bit of yeah. residual Vegeta Yeah, he's got there. a little braver up from that. <laughs> but as well, uh, Goku at that point was would have said anything to Broly to get him to stick around because he wants to fight Broly more. That's fair. <laughs> but it's not like Broly was like, I wish to address you by your proper saying no, He just, apropos but, of nothing, was just like, yeah, you, you know what, Broly? Call but me Broly's whole character is he's fucked by his heritage. So, like, having a positive, like, you know, part of his species uh, is a really good way for Goku to manipulate him into fighting him forever. I mean, the real reason why they did it is just so that in later, later Dragon Ball media, Broly can yell <laughs> Kakarot. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> he's known for doing that. <laughs> look, look, never leave it to the leave it to Dragon Ball fans to go through unlimited mental gymnastics to make up for Akira Toriyama forgetting a line. <laughs> I think Akira Toriyama, Toriyama did forget a lot of things. That. Sorry, Blackbread, what'd you say? So I think my microphone stopped working halfway through that. I was trying uh, to yeah. interrupt it with clock stretches. The, there's a it's it's some silly music. I have my phone right up to the thing. Oh yeah, that's the, that's Discord noise cancellation, happened. my friend. What? Yes, it's too powerful. 
Discord noise cancellation will just kill oh, the Yeah, on. there's a there's an AI in Discord that eats noise. <laughs> eats noise like off? a tasty yeah. snack. Yeah, it's like a demon. <laughs> I guess it, it counted me as noise after I kept doing that. <laughs> you are noise. Trying to do, and I'm not going to fucking let you do it. Like, <laughs> All right, we have we have been going for 40 minutes. I didn't think I was doing that bad, but <laughs> I'm sure we can cut some of that. We're not cutting any of that. Oh no! I, I mentioned you remember that part where I said I don't want to do work while I'm editing. Well, here we are. Uh, oh cat, boy, cats and black bread. Cats and black bread, my good friend. You've been you've been on the sidelines for a few minutes here, so I want to give you the opportunity to pitch your issue here and now. So, cats and black bread, hit us with it. Oh, okay, all right. So, uh, I don't know how to name this problem, but I came up with it halfway through all that, and uh, that would be uh, too many pedophiles making anime. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that seems like a pretty good name right there. Too many pedophiles making anime, all right. Okay. I don't like there being the word pedophile in my description, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, but really, that's what it is. And, and uh... Can we say, like, too many creeps making anime for, like, YouTube description purposes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Too many creeps making anime. All right, all right. Because from what I've noticed, there's a big fucking problem. Like, there's, there's a couple of shows that are well-written and very, very good. And then what people keep telling me is, like, oh, there's some weird stuff. You kind of got to look past it. And yeah, there is always, see. like, a weird pedo shit thing you have to look for, even in Dragon Ball. <laughs> like, every every anime has, like, that one pedo thing you just kind of have to ignore. <laughs> okay. Well, then, here's this. Like, here, there's some anime out there with some great fucking stories, but you cannot talk about them with anybody. Here's a good example. Made in Abyss. You know a lot of people like it. You know a lot of people have seen it. But then the, it's hard to talk about it because the creator is so obviously a fucking pedophile. Oh yeah, mm. I've heard I've heard stories of this person. Oh, oh no 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 God. no! It's even yeah, worse. Uh, if you read the manga, <laughs> uh, he's got pinups of all the characters. Uh, it's no, bad. yeah, he, he's he, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's also but anyway. one of the most compelling stories I've ever read. So that's the thing is real. Creeps like this, okay, I think I've, I think I've pinned down the issue. Creeps like this make such, like, big and popular series and don't get any consequences for, like, the shit that they do that it just, like, trickled down into culture and, like, well, even stories that had nothing to do with it just would, like, have well, shit yeah. like that in there because it seemed like a trope everybody had to hit. Like, the, the fucking... No, 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 no. There's, a, there's a, like, a direct correlation between mental illness and quality of art. So what keeps happening uh, is the most okay. mentally ill people on the planet are making the best art and when the most mentally ill people make the best art those people tend to be pedophiles apparently yeah, yeah it's like <laughs> to the, uh, to, for another example of that but i'll get to that in a moment but yeah made an abyss i i am aware of the differences that that they had actually toned it down for the oh, show. Oh no, they didn't just and tone it the down. They were like, like really they hit by something. And they're just like pissing all over the place constantly. <laughs> it's yeah, there's a lot of uncensored, penetrative sex and made an abyss manga. No, it turns out. no, 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 no. There's nothing like the that. He's not, he's not that and the fucking... robot. It's, a, it's not a real boy. He's a robot, <laughs> but all oh, he's got a perfectly good working penis. A oh, he man really wants to fuck that ball. child. And uh, this he's actually a he's actually a cyborg, and his entire body except for his penis has been replaced oh with robotics. Yeah, is that the lore? <laughs> I don't think so. It should be uh, a pretty good he, story. I don't know what the lore is. They haven't really revealed that, but he really imagine does the profound mental body. turmoil of the only real. Uh, I am all. And I they am spend all, they spend way too much time talking about how much he wants to fuck that bunny. <laughs> yeah it's all like weird like coming of age shit that should not be shown on tv is what they're showing in this show or what about that what about that uh that bit where there it's be, oh, okay that. there could be some level of divide no, no, like no, right, the, in the, there's, a, there's a character right and like uh there's in maybe this there, there's this guy he's 
named Bonadrude, and he's like running experiments on children to try and go deeper in the abyss without consequences. The abyss uh, is actually just a child's butthole. Yeah. Um, and uh, it, it's heavily implied one of those characters is regularly <laughs> raped by him. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not okay. Not okay, no. And I. <laughs> Yeah, so okay. Show Tenshi being the second example I was going to give, the show is awful horny, and this is one of the ones where like you can kind of throw it off on the sideline. Like everybody loves this show, I, I think it. I think most of us can say it's pretty great, but goddamn, is that show horny sometimes? And then it's and then like when he is a like a younger kid, uh. I don't know, man. Like, it's still an older man in a child's body during all of this shit. So it's like, is this really okay? Yeah, no, that's just fucked. It's that. like, it, it, it's unfortunate that, like, an, there's so many anime that just, like, have this kind of vile context. Because, like, I understand the desire of, like, wanting to show, like, weird shit in a coming-of-age uh, context. But when it's, like... Oh, drowned in a God. sea of like weird like body swap stories where it's actually a 25 year old man uh dealing with the issues brought about by a 13 year old vagina and having one and having a period uh, or whatever <laughs> that's gross Come i on. haven't seen that uh, but, uh, I'll take <laughs> i bet you it's it. out there <laughs> it's well it's it's Japan. They, they yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking of like anime plot lines. Like, hmm, what's they're it? a lot more okay with this than Let's us, see. Like, I've noticed. Well, the, just throw in all the classic tropes: lowly body swap, uh, fucking. Uh, Isn't that that one where that like middle aged uh, businessman becomes the not that Nazi chick? That sounds uh, awesome. No, that you're thinking. <laughs> um, I. Uh, I don't know what you're thinking of, actually. Uh, it's I was the one where, it's, it's also the called one where, Jobless Reincarnation. Yeah, there, there's just so much of this shit. No, I, okay, get, what, so I get where you're coming from with this problem. <laughs> now, uh, the earlier the, example, Sailor Moon. I guess the problem is... What's uh, wrong with Sailor Moon? Oh, nothing, not I even, like, all of it. Ask me about it. Okay, okay. Uh, there's nothing wrong with Sailor Moon. There's just this guy who What's wears your a mask and harasses Moon? young women. He just breaks into the bedroom. I, I, I've never seen them, but I've never seen Sailor Moon, to be clear. Does the Succedo mask harass them? Well, he, he breaks no. into their bedrooms in the middle of the night. No, what? No, hold on now. <laughs> no, no, that's not how that happens. So what you do? The Succedo mask shows up conveniently for the plot anytime that they're having trouble kicking a guy's ass, which is all the fucking time, by the way. Um, yeah, I, look, I didn't get into Sailor Moon because it was like good. It was a weird thing where I watched the Nostalgia Critic uh review of it, and then I was just like, maybe it's not so bad if you watch it in Japanese. And then I, the nostalgia I was living somewhere Sailor Moon? everybody that I ended up just uh, what do you call it? You know, what you, you're stuck with your captor and you start identifying with them. What's that called? Stockholm Syndrome. Syndrome. There we go. Yeah, so uh, I Stockholmed myself into liking Sailor Moon, and I ended up watching all of it while I was oh, living God. in Oregon. That's what One Piece does to you. You you get 300 episodes in the One Piece, you're watching the rest. Oh, actually, I stopped at like 55 or 58 episodes. Yes, I said 300. I'm reading One Piece, and my pattern on that is I'll read like three chapters every nine months. <laughs> I read I read a lot when I started, so I'm at like chapter 150. But now it's like not a lot. Three, the, there are well, a thousand chapters. You've barely touched no. But I'm the saying, surface. like in the first few weeks I was reading, I sped through a lot of chapters. But like now, you like every few mo every few months, I'll look at it and be like, maybe I'll read a couple chapters. No, 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 no. Like, like, hmm. You failed. You need to get to chapter five hundred. That's when it gets good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there really is no hope, though. He's never going to find the One Piece. No. The story ends if he does. No, the, the weird thing no. about it is, like, my favorite arc so far seems well, to be the one that everybody here, hates. Here's the real problem with One Piece. Uh, Oda, everything Oda set up seems like the story really starts when he finds the One Piece. The Fortune <laughs> Club was the best. He's gonna get the One Piece, and that's gonna give him gear 12, and that's gonna... No, it's gonna be gear infinite, and he's going to become God. 
like every Actually, anime. No, he's going to find the one piece and then they're going to find out that there's more than one piece. Oh, but I team. also hit a two piece. Holy and shit. And a three piece and a four piece. Wow, we got and off then that. more pirates set sail. What if that's the bit? Oda's like, One Piece is ending soon, and that's because One Piece ends with, actually, it's the Two Piece! That is Two Piece Chapter 1 comes out the next week. Well, I mean, Oda did take a, like, a three-week break to ponder what the One Piece actually is. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> I did see that. That is really funny. Oh my god, if it's... This man knows It's gonna that be the friends Eddie, we made along if the it's, way. It's, it, the series is so good, and it has so hyped this shit up that if it's anything less than the most amazing thing ever written in fiction, he is getting lynched. The One Piece isn't going to be real. I can see that coming a mile away. No, no, no. The One... Okay. Uh, the One Piece is the friends we made along the way. No, no. Speculative spoilers. The One Piece is the secret of the world government and the the truth that the, they're actually alien overlords sent by Lord Xenu to keep people wow. on the planet because their Thetan levels were too high and the rest of the universe cannot handle such high Thetan beings. Luffy defeats Scientology. <laughs> That's the end of One Piece. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now we need now we need to circle the Scientology building, just blasting the. Uh, you think I'm joking, but uh, there is a lot of implications that uh, the secret to One Piece is basically Scientology. <laughs> Time for One Piece. It's the secrets of Scientology. Oh, yeah, yo, God. yeah, yo, yeah, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Sanji's cooking up the truth. <laughs> Sanji's got a high Thetan count. He needs to be dealt with. Yeah, honestly. Unholy being that Sanji. <laughs> Always getting all horned up. <laughs> gotta get rid of him. He's got a great voice in the four kids dub. <laughs> Just oh my god. Out there. Actually though, the uh the Funimation dub of One Piece. 10 out of 10. That's like one of the only dubs I, I ever recommend listening to. Is the Funimation dub of One Piece? I feel like I've only ever heard like clips and they're bad. Well, a lot you, of the side characters are bad. Four kids dub. Yeah, you've probably only heard the Four Kids dub and a lot of the side characters, especially early on in the Funimation dub, are pretty bad, but my god, the main cast, it, it's literally perfect casting. I seem to remember Luffy sounding kind of insufferable. Oh, he is. But, uh, that's Luke is insufferable no matter what language you put him in. <laughs> okay. So earlier, you asked me what my favorite episode of Sailor Moon is, and actually I have a better answer for you than you could possibly imagine. Okay, lay it on me. Uh, My favorite thing about watching all of Sailor Moon, honestly, was the music. I like the OST better than the actual show. That's fair. You see, Sailor Moon, I feel like I would actually unironically enjoy um, because the formula of a show about uh, teenagers in high school who deal with their teenagers in high school problem and then transform magically to fight monsters uh, oh, sounds a whole lot like another show really that I've been absolutely obsessed with my entire life called Power Rangers. Oh, yeah, kind of, it is kind of like that. Um, except, you know, the, the creator hides in a bit of like my, uh, mild lesbian stuff. And that's always fun for a guy. I you mean, know, I am an ally. I don't you, mind it when some gay stuff happens every once in a while. You know, you it's just, a I don't agree with Chuck ally. Dixon. Okay. I want ally. that. He, he says, nobody he wants that. I want that. Well, my friend, I actually want to expand your problem because it's not just anime that has the too many creeps making it problem. Uh, have you ever seen Western television? Like, kids' cartoons? Are you gonna say, like... Have you ever watched a show called Totally Spies? I have. Uh, They're literally every single... When I was a kid, but... Every single fetish tag on the planet is in that show. I've heard, you see, I didn't didn't realize what I was... It is, it is deeply, deeply perverse, and it is, like, I, I watched that with a couple of friends recently just to see like if it was as bad as they said. It's worse. It's I worse. Must have caught... we need to watch totally spies. 
I must have caught all the tame Totally Spies episodes as a kid because I don't even but, remember anything being that weird. Dude, so many people have like online have gotten fetishes from that show. But it's like all like Western animation. Like the first two seasons of Adventure Time, uh, they had that one writer that's like a prolific pedophile at Cartoon Network. Uh, like that they forced into the show, and the one that so- they made, the one that made Twelve Forever. Yeah, and there's okay. like an episode that's literally just like the main character getting spanked the entire episode. It's what? Yeah, it's. I when think I think there's made? just too many pedophiles in entertainment. I think that's the real problem, and it's yeah, almost you know always what? in animation. Yeah, but I don't know. You, the, there's not another show like fucking Made in Abyss out there. And that was my main example. I don't know. Maybe Made Totally Spies rivals I, Made I, in at Abyss. The, at the very least, Made in Abyss is a series made specifically for adults to read, right? Totally Spies, like, that corrupted children. Yeah, I did watch that on, like... <laughs> yeah, me too! EW44 kids, whatever the fuck, or whatever it was on. <laughs> it was on Cartoon Network. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was probably just Cartoon Network, but I watched that shit. Didn't corrupt me, thankfully. Maybe, maybe there's memories that I've yet to unlock. Maybe. Yeah, like, once again, maybe I didn't my, realize how bad it was until watching it recently. Maybe the foot shit and or the clown shit comes from Totally Spies. And what I about know. the. Uh, did you get the inflation shit from that? I don't have an inflation what? fetish. Well, that was in it. Uh, there's also, I believe, there's, uh, oh god, there's everything like sissy hip. My fetishes are, are the hot episode girls I watched. Hot makeup no, 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 the episode I watched with my friends was the sissy hypno episode. <laughs> that just even saying that sentence is <laughs> it's it's bad. It's not real good. bad. Holy shit. I'm yeah. I'm excited. I'm genuinely excited to check this show out again. Oh well, at least uh, <laughs> well, at least someone's gonna have fun with this. <clears throat> how long? How many episodes per season are there in Totally oh, Spies? Uh, let me look. How many episodes is season one of Totally Spies? Uh, let's see. It ran from 2001 to two- 2014, and I'm guessing a majority Holy of the shit. wait 2014. Oh yeah. All oh, right, no, they're gonna they're doing another season. No, I, I knew a new one was coming, but I didn't know the old one ran for yeah, 13 uh, each years. season is 26 episodes, and there's six seasons with a seventh one being made. Uh, 26 episodes is too many. I was gonna say we should what review we season five one, for that but like, long? just like I'm sure, like a little bit of Google research can find the worst episodes. <laughs> yeah, okay, how is if, if this podcast really doesn't exist like yet? That. Sorry. Is that I, I guess I don't have to Stockholm myself into liking Totally Spies by watching all of it. So, yeah. Good advice. Good I advice. mean, like, um, really, if you do want to do a podcast on this, I'm in. No one's touched this. The premise. Everyone, everyone talks about how bad this is, but I don't think anyone's really dived into it. So somebody made the research, right? Like, this is like a YouTube video where somebody was like, literally every fetish tag is covered in the show. Like, it's documented somewhere. Yeah, well, I, I want somebody. If we, if I don't do this show, which I probably won't because I don't have the time. And this is free for any podcasters out there. You want to take this idea? I want somebody to make a show where they watch Totally Spies, but not all of it and not in order. They just like or just go do to it a, in order it, and just do a full review. Fuck. It's kind of like Dragon Wheel, where there will be a wheel, except instead of a wheel of Totally Spies <laughs> episode, it's a wheel of fetishes. <laughs> um, whatever fetish you land on, you do a Totally Spies episode. Oh about God. It. You know what? If anyone does that, I'm in. Hit me up at True Warficus. Let's do it. Like, let's see. All right, we're spinning the wheel here. Oh, it's inflation. We're going to watch the inflation episode of <laughs> Totally Spies. Well, I'm totally in, so. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Okay, and uh, I'd like to point something out. Uh, I heard that you voted for my problem, uh... A couple episodes ago, and I saw uh, your comment about that. Yeah, uh, does that mean that like that's a tie, and uh, whoever wins this round is like, well, I don't know. It's your show. I guess you get to come up with something. Wait, a tie between who and who for what? You, uh, well, if you voted for my thing and the other thing only got one vote, that means I'm now tied with somebody. That vote didn't count, though. 
but it's no votes there. no votes counted after like the initial counting like that was just them like trolling me trying to like prove that i cheated and i didn't <laughs> none of the votes <laughs> counted except except for the one that was already there I still Crow, feel Crow, like Crow Royalty crazy. also voted on the poll while we were doing that just to fuck around. <laughs> oh shit, so everybody's tied. It's a three way tie uh, between me, you, and Gingy. Are we, we count sure we should be talking Royalty. about three ways right now? Ah oh, I mean, shit. Today we it's... got bad dragons, pedophiles, and three ways. They got three way, any three way? <laughs> yeah, we're going to combine all those in this show right now. Are there three ways that totally flies? This is, is the, uh, this, this is the Riley brings on two outsiders to get him canceled episode. Uh, listen, I've done we're much gonna worse. We're going to Riley. Here we go. Well, so. <laughs> Kiwi Farms already had their day with me many years ago. Oh, God. <laughs> what did the Kiwis do to you? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like all those people are going kind of deranged right now. Yeah, it's 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 been really wild to see them fall all these years. Cause like, well, when I, I first when I first got into like the Dick Show universe and like I I came to understand Kiwi Farm's existence through that, they seemed like they seemed like they were fighting the good fight, but just I like think, over over the years, they've just like deteriorated so much and no, like and, and gone enough. dark and. <laughs> You stare long enough into the abyss and you become it, right? Like <laughs> that's true. They live long think, enough to see themselves become the villain. I, I think. I think they occurred. have just. I think they have so immersed themselves in law into law cows that they ha- themselves have become the thing they have immersed themselves in. Like a cognitive hazard, Noel has become Chris Chan. Yeah, Noel really is like a huge <laughs> law cow now, which is really funny. Damn, I spend too much time in the real world. Fuck the real world. That's a thing. You see, usually, that- usually people would hear that kind of shit and be like, "Damn, you spend too much time on the internet." But Captain Blackbread's like, "Damn, I wish I knew about Null." <laughs> I'm not a big enough loser. Look, just like listen <laughs> to the Dick Show. Need- the biggest problem in the issue crew at work. This is, this the is issue great. crew. Yeah, we talk all about Null here. Well, we are. <laughs> that's true. Today, that's Today. correct. Anybody got like a a primer on uh, Null that I can just watch? Um, like, the, only, the only way okay, I know. Okay, actually, him no. I do have. Somebody should make a Null documentary. No, 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 no. Someone, someone did. It's called the Chris Chan: The Complete History because that's basically the rise of Null. <laughs> okay, well, that's like too much, though. Yeah, no, like it's fine. It's only a hundred episodes and counting episodes. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Look, I watched all of Sailor Moon. I'm not about to do all that. What do you mean? I, I, I feel like your time would be better it's spent only on Chris Chan comprehensive episodes. history Here, I'll, I'll than Sailor Moon. Moon. <laughs> but yeah, basically, Noel got big because he made the quickie for Chris Chan, and then that became Kiwi Farm. Like long and short of it, and he sort of became like the king troll of fucking with people. Oh. Well, that's a life to live, and you know, good for him, I guess. Except, and that, but except now he has to, he had to like flee to Iceland or whatever, and like, well, he's fucking <laughs> what, around a he's lot. Fucking, yeah, he's he fucking was... around a whole lot. Hold on, is he like fucking around? Like P Diddy's fucking around? Is that are they? Well, both there's actually Iceland some right allegations now? about child porn on his site. So, well, well oh, okay, no. I don't want to talk about the child porn on Noel's site because that, that that those claims <laughs> seem pretty dubious, uh, but. Uh, he, what I will, the, the the real thing Noel's in trouble for is like all the like real doxing and harassing and violence that has occurred as a result of Kiwi Farms. Well, yeah, <laughs> those people like kind of are um, like a cult, and they are fucking with a lot of people, and it has reached criminal levels before. So so, so Noel has like fled the country at this point to avoid a potential legal prosecution for the actions of Kiwi Farms as a collective. That he has directly engaged in many times, yeah. Yeah, but that almost seems like a an actual... Uh, that seems like an admission of guilt, almost. If he's leaving the country, that means... No, he has to leave. Even if, even if what he did was technically legal, uh, look, a lot... Yeah, they'll find a way him. to bring him down for this. Yeah, yeah, like, name the man, we'll find the crime. That guy, uh, that guy's made too many enemies. Okay, so Noel is a pedophile then? 
<laughs> we can rake him in on, on this issue, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not willing to say that Null is a pedophile. Is he creating an anime, though? <laughs> yeah, Null should make an anime. Yeah, let's, let's go. Being made an anime. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but... Coming to Greenland guy? soon. I wonder if he owns a bad dragon. I think he he has many bad dragons, actually. <laughs> many bad dragons. I think my favorite part of that, that Null thing is how, like, D- Dick did this, like, half and half bit where he made fun of him, but also, like, he was doing this, I'm also helping you with a potential lawsuit thing, where he was like, yeah, I really wanted to, I really wanted to go into business with Kiwi Farms, but, like, I heard that they have child porn on their website, and, like, now I don't, th- that big money contract, I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Dude, I've been I've genuinely been listening to the Dick Show like since uh I wanna say since at least like twenty nineteen or so. Mm-hmm. Like I found biggest problem in the universe and then I found the Dick Show like soon afterward. And then uh I never turned my back. So I'm, so if that episode happened anywhere from now to twenty or from twenty nineteen, then I probably heard it because it sounds vaguely familiar. Uh, yes, because that this one happened in like, I think even this year. If not, it was twenty twenty three. Okay. Because the because there were some uh, the, those those allegations were recent. Somebody claimed that like there was child porn hosted on Queen Farms, and it seemed fairly unfounded. And I guess people were saying that Noel should sue this person. Um, and Dick and Dick was just giving him fodder for the lawsuit by being like, "Yeah, I wanted to do bi- big money business with Kiwi Farms, but now I've heard this about them, and I don't want to do it anymore." <laughs> Shit. Alrighty, what was my problem again? There you go. It was creeps making anime too much or something Vote like it up. that. Vote it up. Uh, that just leaves us with a Warficus, and then one one of us is gonna have to bullshit a second issue, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Warficus? Well, if today it wasn't so loaded, I think my problem would be a bit better, but, uh, my problem is podcasts that make you hungry. <laughs> I was listed this morning, right? You know, working hard. I've missed breakfast. It's so real. Wait, I felt this so hard. You're so right. <laughs> yeah, I was working. You know, I was missed breakfast. Uh, no one was bringing lunch, so you know, I'm I'm just listening to the issue crew because you know I finished uh, biggest problem. And that's just the next show on my rotation. And then some fuckhead starts talking about like food, like it is the most divine thing ever, and this fucking meatball sub he's making is like man i could really fucking go for one of those except no i'm in the middle of a metal fab and i am welding things and i'm going to be hungry for the rest of the day <laughs> yeah, that seems familiar i was about to ask hey where were you when you heard about all this i was mowing my lawn but like it's not just your podcast that's done this like I feel like every other podcast will go on a food diatribe, and it's always about how good food is. It's never about, like, man, I really don't want to eat anything. I can't tell you how many times Dick Masterson has described steak on a podcast, oh and it's just God. made me like, ugh. Him and God Vito are the worst it. defenders of this food. <laughs> like, every time Vito talks about food, he's like, man, a fat man really can sell how good eating is. Yeah, the, the, honestly, yeah, Vito is a big offender of this. He is, he, his, he does have a talent in his fatness of making food sound real good. Yeah, but you know what kind of ruins that is when he adds the butter from his scalp. Oh. Yeah, yeah, the scalp butter, not not too good. Dude, and then I, you're like dude, mixed I up because once your stomach starts that, feeling just... hungry, you're <laughs> hungry, and like then he starts talking about that shit, and it's like now I want to throw up, and I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat my vomit. Like, oh uh, no! Don't ah. say that. Ugh. Gross. Uh, sorry, my my issue doesn't have as much bite to it as the uh, as bad dragons, but uh, God, it's a fucking problem. No, nah, yeah, I've I've run into this so many times. Just like, it's hard to. I don't want to be like that guy who like criticizes them for it because like whatever. It's my it's my fault. That I have like these. 
uncontrollable fantasies just when I hear good food described. Um, but like, just like everybody's like, yeah, I had this really nice cheeseburger. And I'm just like, I wish I had a really nice cheeseburger. Oh, man. I really wish I wasn't working right now and I could just eat. I definitely have ordered DoorDash at work because somebody oh. somebody on a podcast was talking about food. I did that like, once and it was yes, such an bro. awful experience. I never did it again. I had a. I just recently escaped from my deep DoorDash arc. I talked about it on the Dick Show, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, you need to where, you know, ban, like, delete that app and like block. Well, here's your the, here's the good it. news. Here's the good news, Warficus. Um, I believe since less than a week after that Dick Show call, I think I made one or two more orders after that. Um, but since then, so about a month now, completely DoorDash clean. Oh fuck yeah! Great, okay, next step: cut out any soda. You got to find something that isn't uh, like high in carbs or sugar. Diet soda counts, I assume. Yes. yes. I, or whatever. Uh, well, diet soda is like a lot of the chemicals also really fuck your belly to lose weight. Well, that's going to be a challenge. I don't really drink. The fattest people uh, I don't I've really... ever seen drink diet, diet fucking Coke. I'm just saying. Well, yeah, that's because they were they had a huge addiction to regular Coke and they kicked it. And I think that's a good obviously. No, no, the no, idea they get fatter wanna... when they start drinking the diet shit. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't gotta get... start drinking seltzers, like unironically. Yeah, seltzers are good. Uh like uh cold tea. Seltzers are usually gross. Like um, iced tea without sugar. You fuck. Uh pretty good. Iced one. tea without sugar is fucking awful. It's an acquired taste. It takes a ridiculous amount of sugar to get me to no, drink no, no, it no, 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 no. You hate it at first, but once you're like three cups in, you you're like, okay, this is drinkable. All right, you gotta you gotta get it. Replace violence. your water with it, or drink it when you're really thirsty. That's yeah. that's what that's what kind of did it for me. Yeah, and, uh, uh, that's... that is how you drink healthy. Yeah, that's how I that's how I replaced soda. I didn't like iced tea at first, but uh, I I just, just forced uh, myself to love it. I'm a boy. I I drink a lot, and I don't like to drink water. Too- if, I, if you- I, I, I I like water more now. Like I drink a shit ton of water. Yeah. Um, but I just like want to drink constantly, and I won't drink tap water because tap water is gross. Um, so I don't want to drink every oh, water bottle man. I have in okay. one day. Okay, and plus a, water gets kind of bland. So I drink there's like a website, right? There's this website. It's called InfoWarsStore.com, and they okay. sell really good water filters. All right. Yeah, you. They will turn tap water into drinkable. Um, will it get rid of any chemicals in the water that might have made the frogs gay? Uh, well, yes. That's why Alex Jones sells them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But well, at least I think it gets rid of most of them. Like some of these manufacturing chemicals. Ninety nine point five percent of gay right. frog chemicals are. Really I mean, a lot of these chemicals are in the air <laughs> now, so you know you're kind of fucked either way. Yeah, the frogs, the gay frogs, frogs can't, can't even get through the faucet. Yeah, <laughs> the frogs are turning into slime. The, the the gay frogs are going through the faucet, and I can, you can get this filter. The Romans used it. Keeps the frogs out of the filter. <laughs> but to be real, I drink like four or five bottles of water a day pretty consistently. And that's I just I drink all the time. And when I'm not drinking those four or five bottles of water, it's usually diet soda or like yeah. or exactly. sparkling water or like zero sugar juice. Sparkling water is good. Uh, like normal juice is fine if you just don't drink a lot of it. Um you gotta cut the diets. You you just have to you gotta burn it out of your life. Get a different caffeine. But I love it. It's so tasty. You are addicted right. to the caffeine. Find a caffeine replacement. It's not the caffeine. I don't give a shit about the caffeine. No, you I... do. Trust uh-huh. me. You go a week without that shit, you're gonna have the worst headache of your life. Find a different caffeine. You will. I have gone a week without it. I've gone okay. several weeks without it. Then, ju- then cut it forever. I don't have a caffeine addiction. I just love the taste of my delicious, delicious diet coke. Listen, Vito, you got to lose weight, or I'm calling the pirate. I'm working on it. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm not drinking full sugar soda anymore. I'm not sucking up calories every day. This, I'm fucking. I'm telling you, a diet is worse for you. I have never seen people go fatter when. Un- Till they start drinking the fucking diet shit. Because they think it makes them immune to having to do other shit. That's the problem. Yeah, the fat people the will be like, fat people will be like, I'm going to drink this Diet Coke. I can have uh, another burger. 
Exactly. Yeah. That's not how I'm looking at it. I just like <laughs> Diet Coke. It's a nice beverage that I enjoy. It's not <laughs> nice. It's killing you. And plus that tastes it's like poison. shit. What do you mean you like Diet Coke? I, don't, I just like it's, the taste, okay? I understand. It's weird. You a lot of people you, don't like it. I. It's killing it's you. It's eating you from the inside. Stop. Oh no. my god. Shut up, you fucking conspiracy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> No, but seriously, fucking cut diet soda. You, there's better things to drink. I'm gonna work on it. Okay. The, All right. I, I've had to. I've had to make a lot of. I've I've cut DoorDash. That was really hard. I've had oh, to cut God. a lot of things. I'm gonna cut the diet coke eventually, but just like let me enjoy my my. I gotta say, uh, getting longer. out, getting out of a city and not having access to DoorDash, fucking best decision of my life. <laughs> this shit's like the eighth circle of hell. You just eat. It's good. Always there. Man, I feel I feel like super fucking based when it comes to that shit. Cause I'm just like, I ain't eating from no ghost kitchen. And I ain't eating from no fucking big time establishment, so I just don't use DoorDash. Well here's they didn't the problem. have any actual good restaurants available. So I was like, yeah, fuck that shit. Ghost kitchen fries though. You can just keep ordering them. It's great. What do you mean? It's just chunked potato. It tastes good. Oh, because are you? Uh, is the joke that the that the French fries are ghosts? No. What? <laughs> you, just, what? You, you can always eat a ghost fry, right? Like it, it goes right through you. It's no problem. You just oh, you're, 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 this is way smarter than any joke I was making. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Even worth too much credit here. <laughs> Damn, and it wasn't even like even like good of a joke. Okay, look, there, there, there's this place called Five Guys Burger and Fries, and where I used to live, uh, if you ordered a large fries from Five Guys, they give they take their large soda cup and just stuff it with fries. I got now Five you... Guys. There's no Five Guys <laughs> close enough for me to just like get it, but there's one like I would you, you get you got to drive to get there, um, but it was available on DoorDash. Um, so they're, I decided Cajun, to... they're Cajun fries. So somebody made that long that? ass trip for you. Somebody made this long ass trip for me, correct? Um, and unfortunately, what due to the long, due to the long ass trip, um, the food was kind of lukewarm. Uh, so that was kind of an unfortunate way to experience Five Guys for the first time. Uh, but it was still it was still pretty good, and I, I appreciated them for their fry distribution. What, uh, I would what they do, and I'm told they do this on purpose. Mm. Is they they so the fries come in like a paper bag, yeah, and they just like they yeah. put the fries in the paper bag, but there's always like spillage, and it's just like there's a bunch of fries in the rest of the bag, yep. and apparently they do that on purpose. <laughs> okay, no, see what I get every time is that they get a double bacon, two extra large fries, and I would be so fucking full that I would not eat to eat the next day. And I you have to like take every... your burger out of like a sea of fries. Yeah, like... yeah, it's and it's all grease. Like you I have to wash my hands like multiple times throughout this process. Yeah, five I'm guys so fucking fries, glad I'm not fries. fat anymore, Riley. Let me tell you. It was it was uh it was an experience. <laughs> yeah, well you know the weight loss I've, I'm putting the foundation in place. Uh, it was going well for a while. Then it you know kind of what? going well for a bad because of a bad few weeks. You know uh, what? But I'm, I'm Here's back what you need board. to do: you need to like post your weights publicly and at veto every time. And like, I have been doing. Uh, I have been. I have been giving my way in publicly every week. If you yeah. listen to the, to the Dickheads podcast, I the do dickhead. give my weights. Okay, I'll need to add that, that to my list. But you need to <laughs> you need to start podcast, adding veto on X. That. Yes, the Dickhead Pod. It's located on the Riley Podcast Mega Feed, wherever podcasts are found. Okay. You gotta, you gotta start adding Vito and like laughing at him that you're doing better on weight loss than him. <laughs> then call into Dick Show more and then laugh about how you're doing better than Vito at weight loss. And that's how your podcast. Yeah, I, got, I gotta lose weight if I want to. And that's call how the issue and crew is going to explode. Yeah, that's how you. That's <laughs> podcast explodes. We do it on the fat of Vito. Yes, yeah, someday, <laughs> someday I will be lighter than Vito Giswaldi, and on that Fuck day yeah. I will <laughs> throw a parade. Although, although I do agree with Dick, if you're going to hit 300, go for it and then lose the weight. 
uh buddy i'm i'm way beyond that my friend <laughs> oh god okay um now there is one thing you need to p- do and this is a compelling reason to really start losing weight now uh your skin is going to start sagging if you're like really fat that's you- true i gotta work on it just to just to give There's- you an idea a successful weight the weight that i was the proudest of during this weight loss process, the lowest weight I recorded that it was like, holy shit, I got it down this low and this short of a time was 389. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh, How tall no. are you? 6'3", so it's not as bad as it could be. Okay. You're taller than I am? <laughs> <laughs> fucking based. You're like, just I'm, a I'm... fucking towering hulk. Like, <laughs> like, like... Sorry, towering hunk? No, not hunk. What's a something else? <laughs> a towering fucking, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of something that starts with H that means like just, fat or slop. Just or like, once you start really losing weight, you're going to want to take, it's going to fucking suck, but you're going to want to take cold showers because it will help shrink your skin. Oh, okay. Because you want to have the skin shrinking while you're losing the weight. If you, if it starts sagging, it's going to, you're not going to have a fun time. And like, if it gets bad enough, there sometimes surgery can be required. Ah, uh, ignore that. Oh, I thought <laughs> that was part of it. Just like a yeah, you were like, uh, surgery. <laughs> yeah, um, that's what it feels like. But there are there there are like certain um, there are like certain supplements that can help your skin like fix itself. Cold showers help a lot. Can I find uh, those on GorillaMind.com? Is that where I find these supplements? No. Uh, th- th- Infowars.store? No, this stuff, <laughs> this stuff is more like like uh, like there's certain plants that help with that and like certain things you can add, just add into your diet. And the gay like, frogs potas- don't even touch it. I think potassium helps a lot if you want to... No frog of any sexuality come into uh, contact. Well, I mean, exactly. I, you know, it, you know, they say f- if you rub the, the poisonous frog venom on your skin, it will uh, it will help. Because uh, you'll die. But what if and I get some of the thinner. residual gay? Well, you, uh, you'll be dead in gay, so... From the frogs. <laughs> you'll be attracted to other gay frogs. <laughs> Shit! Yeah. Then I want to fuck gay frogs. That's not a life that you want to lead as a human. No, actually, it makes you want to get fucked by the gay frogs. I wouldn't even feel that. They're yeah, but you'd want to, and that's the problem, is you couldn't. Oh, it's like an eternal torture, I see. That's right. The <laughs> worst amphibious... Uh... Oh, fuck it, never mind. <laughs> Alright, gamers. Well... We are over an hour. It's late. Uh, we started late. So, like, no fourth issue today. You know what? I'm ripping the band-aid off. Sorry, kids. I know you Fuck. come to this house and you expect Fuck, That was a issues. big, bad dragon, okay? We, we had a big, bad dragon. We, we, had, <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of stuff going on here today, and I think we've given you a show, a good show. Folks, where can they find... You on the internet, my friends, my guest, Warficus. Let's start with you. Where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at True Warficus on X. I now stream every Saturday. Uh, I still got media shit coming. Uh, but the, right now, it's just uh, weekly streams and shit posting. Mm-hmm. I see. Hell yeah. You can find me. Uh, I, you can find me as Captain Blackbread on YouTube. And uh, on there, I believe I have it separated as Captain Black Bread, or maybe it's all one word, and I don't remember. You have it separated on your YouTube mean. channel, which is how I've been crediting you, because I use your YouTube channel as the basis. Fuck yeah, thank you. Uh, unfortunately, it's impossible to find me through searching my name, and the best way to actually find me is to search for my shitty music, which is, uh, which you can then search Your Bluff Crisis Passing. And or you have the tag, correct? Pop up. If you do youtube.com slash at Captain Blackbread, I believe that will take them to you. You have the tag. Oh, that's true, yeah. So yeah, folks, if you just want to skip through the, the whole weird search algorithm, just go to youtube.com slash at Captain Blackbread. Well, I didn't even know that, so thank you. 
Andrew would just Andrew in the chat has said that Dragon Ball low key mid, and not gonna lie, and that's that is a bad dragon. That is I'm a bad to dragon. About, tune in to Big Guy Little Guy next week, <laughs> where where me and Andrew spend the whole Let's Play session arguing about Dragon Ball because we're recording that tomorrow, and I have some choice words for our young friend Andrew. Bad, yes, bad dragon. Thank you, Warficus, for telling me. Congratulations, you dragon. fucked your show. I swear to fuck, if that's not the name of the episode, just if not, that's a bad dragon, I don't even know what you're doing. Yeah, man. I'm going to beat you if that's not the episode name. That's going to generate gonna, it's gonna like be a bad dragon. It, it, it's going to be, the name of the episode is just bad dragon, and the thumbnail is going to be Goku, and it's going to be like a meme caption that says, no, no, it should be mean? bad dragon hunger. <laughs> it needs to be Goku, but blurred out. No, no, no. Crazy no, just mad the- dragon hunger. <laughs> it's Goku, and it just says, like, what did you think this was going to be? Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> no, it's Goku with a, a censored fucking... <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the anatomically correct monkey cock that they sell in there. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm sure they do. I wouldn't know anything about this site. I'm no. pretty sure Bad Dragon literally sells like a- accurate animal cock dildos. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't know That's anything about that. No, no, not me. I saw like. How a did U- they get the cast of the dragon? I saw a YouTube it. video that says that they do this. I don't know. I assume the white girls are taking notes. <laughs> no, those are the boring ones. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where do they find these weird dragons? Uh, I think they just find them in the wilderness, or I, I, I really think the dragons. Is this is the find show them, interspecies right? reviewers is about. Is that? Well, no, no, no. I think the dragons find That's them right. One. Like you know, they they post ads and they're like, "We need dragon dicks," and the, you know, the dragons are like, "Well, this is an easy gig." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dragon yeah, from the Rick and Morty episode where Rick fucks a dragon. I mean, like. OnlyFans girls do this shit all the time. Like, how many fucking pocket pussies need to be made? Yeah, that's true. Are, are OnlyFans, I know OnlyFans girls who are doing like. Is, huh? Sorry? What? What did you say? Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Well, um, are OnlyFans girls doing that? I've heard of a couple of like the bigger ones doing like sex dolls that you can buy for unreasonable oh, amount yeah. of money. Well, they do sex but, dolls, but the um, like for years and years, like put oh, like vagina molds from uh, like porn stars has been a thing. I guess I never thought about that. That's a bad dragon. Yeah, it's a very bad dragon. All right, before we make too many more bad dragon references. Uh, <laughs> link tr.ee slash Riley Cinematic Universe for so many other Riley contents that you can find if you want to. That's R I E L Y Cinematic Universe. Um, and that's it. That's the show. My issue was Bad Dragon Ball Opinions. My issue was cr- uh, shit, not again. <laughs> Uh, creeps in the industry. Of Too anime. many creeps making anime. It's me, Captain Blackbread. That's my issue. Oh yeah. And my issue was podcasts make, that make you hungry. And <laughs> that today, is I hope we made you hungry. Yes. <laughs> Imagine a beautiful, juicy steak you cut in there, nice and tender. Oh, Give it a it's nice rippling bite. with steak juice. With your bad Just rippling. <laughs> <laughs> blood everywhere you have killed a person <laughs> it turns out it was not a steak but actually the kidney of a man that you had just removed forcibly a man who came into your house with a bad dragon <laughs> okay, I'm I'm done. Done. it's out of here the, the, the podcast is over bye <laughs>